Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Blocktober Day 12. Um, today is such a beautiful, well, actually, it looks pretty, but it's still kind of chilly outside. Kind of surprise you. Um, first of all, I would like to say thank you to everyone who made a comment yesterday. They were very sweet and greatly appreciated. I also want to send out a thank you to Crochet A, who mentioned me. Um, in her video, that was awesome. I appreciate it as well. Um, and today is no different. So we have another fiber spider tutorial. Um, but the pattern is actually by Purple Iguana. And this one is called the Crazy H Shawl. And I'm not sure if you can tell if it's showing up, but they're eight. It's really, really pretty. Um, this particular yarn is very soft. Um, this was a knit crate yarn that I received um, in the colorway Pimento. Um, it's more orangey to me than reddish, but it's 70% superwash merino, 20% silk, and 10% cashmere. Like I said, it is so soft. Um, but this is the Vita Lana. Um, and I made, I'm not sure how long ago I made this, but like I said, it was another one of those. I used the G hook on it. Um, and this skin of yarn was 329 yards. Um, so, yeah, that was that. I can't remember I had one or two of these. I almost want to say that's actually two. Yeah. I believe it was two. So, um, that is that. Um, not really too much going on. Um, been kind of a lazy day. Um, don't have to go to work early, so I'm super excited about that. Um, so that's always fun, but it's back to early tomorrow. So um, it'll probably be a super duper short video tomorrow because um, I actually have to be at work at 7 p.m. So, which I really don't mind. I don't like doing it on Sundays because to me, Sunday is pretty much family day. I really don't like working at Sundays at all, but... Um, we all have to make a living, don't we? <laughs> so, that's pretty much it. I did want to give a few shout-outs, though. Um, um, one would be um, Crochet A, of course. Um, her channel is awesome. Um, her and George Crochet B. I think that's so hilarious. Um... Another one I want to give a shout out to is Seta, of course. Um, you know that trip she's making is amazing. I don't, I don't think I could do it. My anxiety, anxiety is way too bad. Um, honestly speaking, I rarely even drive on the highway or the interstate. Um, I normally take back roads um so it takes me a little bit longer to get to wherever i want to go like when i go visit my mother which is like four hours from me um my route which is a very beautiful route because you see all the back roads you see all the small towns um but it takes me five hours to get there um so which isn't like i said in the summertime it's beautiful um, just something about me and highways, um, which is one of my fears. Another one of my fears is bridges. Um, I do not like any bridges at all, which is actually funny because, um, the town over from me has like four or five bridges that you have to cross to get to where I am. So, um, 
that's the part of the trip when I'm going to see my mother. That's the part of the t trip I dread. And when I'm coming back home, that's the part of the trip I dread. Um, I don't know. Um, it seems like the older I get, the more anxieties I have, which is not fun. It's not fun. Um, but yeah, that's all that's really going on today. Nothing much. Been doing a little bit of crocheting. Um, can't wait to finish working on my secret project. Um, it's turning out so pretty. And I will definitely show you guys after the person receives it. I will definitely show you. But I want it to be a surprise. So I hope you guys understand that. Um, as a matter of fact, I have started working on a second project for another person. and um, But that's just the beginning stages, so it'll be a little while for that. Um, yeah, I've been finding a lot of patterns, especially a lot of graph patterns, um, which honestly, I enjoy doing my graphs and I enjoy making up the graph myself. But sometimes, honestly, it's easier to pay that fee and have the graph and everything already done for you. And all I have to do is crochet because, you know, that is my favorite part is the crocheting. So I say, you know, um, yeah, I, I just prefer to, to buy the pattern and just crochet. That's the fun part. Um, because I can't ever seem to get my measurements right. So either it turns out to be the size of a washcloth <laughs> Or it's like eight foot, nine foot blanket, um, which is okay if you want a blanket that size. But normally, I don't want a blanket that size. I want something, I want to give someone something, you know, that they can use that, you know, it doesn't take, you know, three or four people to carry it type thing. So... Yeah, I, I prefer to just get the graph. Um, I personally have never ran into a graph, a bad graph yet. Um, I'm sure there may be some out there. Um, but I've been lucky. All the graphs that I have found, the, the patterns that I have paid for have worked out beautifully. So I am happy about that. Um but yeah, I, you know, um, the, the things, um, the secret projects I'm working on, um, I will give a little hint, um, they're kind of like, um, random acts of kindness or, There'll be Happy Meal or, um, yeah, it could be just about anything. Yeah, and that's all I can tell you. <laughs> but I hope whoever receives anything that I send, I hope they really enjoy it. Um, I do worry about that sometimes, um, if someone's going to like it. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like you're not sure if you want to make something for somebody because you're not, not sure about how they'll accept it. Um, because, you know, if we have to be honest, not everyone appreciates crochet. Not everyone, you know, appreciates yarn work. I mean, not everyone, actually not everyone appreciates, um, you know, handmade crafts, period. So... Yeah, I do worry about that. I mean, I believe I do a pretty good job at crocheting, in my opinion. Um, but I still worry, you know, are they going to like it? Are they not going to like it? What aren't they going to like about it? You know, did I use the right colors? Did I use the right yarn? You know, you have to worry about all those things. Um, but I think um, my random acts of kindness since I'm working in you know the yarning community I think they'll be accepted pretty well 
Um, another shout out I want to give is uh, Jeanette from DOY Creations. Um, her jewelry, which I need to uh, pick up some, by the way, is awesome. I love just everything she creates. It's like totally amazing. Um, yeah. Um, another is Black Ribbon Studio. Denise. I really like her creations as well. She does an awesome job. Um, you know, I am so far behind on watching all my videos. Um, even though I watch YouTube, literally, every single day, I am still behind. Because I'm subscribed to so many people. Um, and... I'll try to play catch up is all I can do. I'm enjoying the road that I'm on. I will say that, it, you know, um, watching everybody's creations and yarn hauls and, you know, all that stuff. It's, it's so much fun. Um, this community is actually amazing. Um, you know, people reach out to you that you didn't even realize, even though you existed. It's awesome. So, before I become too mushy, <laughs> I'm going to say I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. I hope their weekend is turning out great. Um, you know, if whatever you have to do today, make it the best day that you can. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.